Tim Jackie tonight. There are still two suspects outstanding and dozens of firearms missing. Earlier today we spoke with the manager here at the Armory, a firearms store here in Bakersfield, and he says that they are already taking precautions to avoid this very type of crime. Thursday in Stanislaus County, three firearms and $3,800 located. Four suspects taken into custody, all in connection with the burglary of PRK firearms in Fresno last month. 50 handguns and rifles were said to have been stolen, and now police are still searching for two more suspects. 47 handguns and rifles still missing. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer says crimes like this one are not common, and taking proper security measures at gun stores is critical. There was a time, I believe, in, in many cities across California where this was a uh, happened frequently. Since that time, uh, uh, businesses, uh, for good reason, have taken measures, security measures within their business to make it target hardened, to make it more difficult for burglars to gain entry. Uh, unfortunately, in this particular uh, business, um, some of those steps have been taken, but not to the degree where, um, where we could have prevented all of them from being taken or at least slowed them down. Jeff Craman is a manager at the Armory, a gun shop in Bakersfield. He knows all too well how important security measures are. Their shop was broken into earlier this year. So some gun stores leave their guns out, we don't because we've been broken into before. Our guns are locked up off-site every night, so we don't really have that problem. All we can do is follow the DOJ, follow the ATF, and try to come up with a few more of our own ideas to try to mitigate that process. The barriers outside, they weren't required, but we felt that it would prevent another break-in like that where they drove their vehicle through the front of the store. Craman also advises firearm owners to consider security in their own homes. Securing your gun at home, it would be good to get a little safe. You can also buy cable locks, and cable locks prevent other people from using your firearm. Going the extra mile to keep um, firearms out of the wrong hands. Not. Like we mentioned, police are still looking for those two suspects and 47 rifles and handguns. If you have any information, they are asking that you come forward. In Southwest Bakersfield, Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC. Two women and four men facing criminal charges tonight after an illegal